Welcome to How to Create Book Snaps with me, Ms. Heaton. What is a book snap? A book snap is about grabbing a short quote from a book and creating a shareable reflection about it. Typically, people take a quick snap or screenshot, if the text is digital, of something they are reading. Once it is an image, you add to it with other images, text, and coding symbols. It is easy. Just read, snap, reflect, add stickers or images, and share. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is find a passage from a book you're reading and take a picture of it. If the book is digital, you'll want to take either a screenshot or use your snipping tool from your computer to snip the passage. Your teacher would have assigned a coding book snap template. There are two templates, one 8.5 by 11 and the other 11 by 8.5. Choose whichever template works for the book snap that you've taken. Next, you'll need to insert your picture. If you took a photograph, you will simply go to Insert Image from your computer. You will locate your book snap. and then stretch it to fit the canvas. If you used the snipping tool for digital text, all you'll need to do is right click, hit paste, and resize your text to the canvas. To highlight the text, you can use the shape tools, create a box around it, Choose transparent. You can change the border color and you can change the thickness. If you wish to highlight the text, again, you would use your shapes. Change it to a highlighting color. Choose custom and bring the transparency down. In this example, I'm going to choose Writer's Craft as my coding mark. So I'm simply copying and pasting this here. And then I may use a text box, which I can copy and paste to explain my thinking. If you need to zoom in, simply click the magnifying glass and zoom in closer in order to see what you're typing. To add an image, simply go to Insert, Image. You can upload from your computer or search the web. So in this case, a thinking emoji. Select the emoji that you want. Select Insert and resize as necessary. In this example, I have a question about the text. So I'm going to use the question coding, copy, simply select Paste and I'm gonna put the question mark by the image, and I'm going to use a thought bubble to show my thinking. You can also use a Google image search in order to insert images. Simply locate the image that you need, right click, indicate copy image, come back, paste it, and size as needed. If you wish to change the size of your text in any of these text box, dialog, or thought bubble, simply highlight the text and make it bigger. A good book snap has at least three codes that are clearly explained. In this example, I used writer's craft, question, and exciting. For writer's craft, I liked how she used her wording to help me understand the main character's dilemma better. My question was, if everything always goes from bad to worse, would I still try and save someone's life if I could? And my final reflection was that it's not as cool as you'd think to be able to change 23 minutes of your life. You can use GIF images as well in your snap. The idea is that you are simply sharing your reflections in a unique and creative way. 
Once you are done, turn in your SNAP per your teacher's instructions.